Penn State's RV lots opened up Thursday before the whiteout game and campers from across the region started rolling in. These diehard fans say many of their football preparations start long before the season with securing a spot. And it usually starts with getting a ticket from Penn State Athletics. Uh, you got to sign up early ahead of time, make sure you have all your spot for the year. Then for the games, you need your supplies. And when you get ready, you have all your, your camping tools, getting all your food ready. It's a whole process that takes a long time, a lot of preparation, but when, once you get up here, it's great. Whether this is your first game in the RV lots or you've been doing it your whole life, everyone here says it's all about just having a good time. It's just like a big family. Everybody is like all accepting and you need something. Like you forget like a solo cup, go over to your neighbor, they'll help you out. It's awesome. But it's not cheap. Parking alone can cost upwards of $1,800 to be a part of the RV family for the season. And on the second-hand market, some paid nearly $400 for this one game. And the big motorhomes? Well, they can cost anywhere from $100 to $300,000. Many are outfitted with satellite TVs, bars, and more. While many love it, the RV life isn't for everybody. It's primitive. It, it, this, is not, <laughs> this is not how I live at home. I don't camp. I don't like being in the outdoors. This is Sue Teakin's eighth year camping out in the lots. Even though she says it's not for her, she admits it's still worth it. We come with the best group of people and we bring such good energy and a lot of fun. And I just think that's just the fact that this is what RV life is and it's not, it's just not something that I would choose for, for me. In State College, I'm Michael DeBaton for the Center County Report.